Hi everyone, it's Amy from Cakes With Faces. Now, I hadn't realised Comic Con is so soon. It's only two weeks. So I'm sorry if you're expecting my new series of Japan videos. That's going to be starting next week on Thursday. So MCM London Comic Con is the 24th to 26th of May at XL in London. And it's the UK's largest Comic Con. There's so much there. And today I've got some tips for you for planning your day at Comic Con. Number one, if you're going to a panel or to get a photo or an autograph with a special guest, check the floor plan to see where you need to go. Comic Con is huge. This picture isn't even all of one hall and there's two halls, so you need to know where you're going. When it's crowded, it can take quite a while to get from one place to another, so leave yourself plenty of time. The floor plan usually comes out just a couple of days before the show. They post it online, so I'll put a link on my Twitter for you. That's Cakes With Faces. It's also in the printed show guide they give out when you're there, and it's usually on signs around the show as well. And it's in the Comic Con app. Which brings us on to the next thing, the Hello. Comic Con app. You can get it on Apple and Android. Right now, it doesn't have too much information, but they'll be updating it before the show. It's got the map, the stage schedules, the special guests, and a list of the stalls. One thing is, when you're looking at the show floor section, not all the stalls are in the exhibitors page. You need to go through these categories at the bottom. That's comics, exhibitors, features, and dealers to see everything. Number three, come and see me. Obviously, I had to include this. I'll be there with my stall, Cakes With Faces. I couldn't not mention it. I'll be in the North Hall near the Pop Asia section. So come and say hello. And if it's not too busy on the stall, I'm always happy to talk about Japan or try and answer your questions. Or if you've already been, come and tell me how it was. I always love hearing about it. I'll have some completely new designs. I'm really hoping they're all gonna arrive on time. And I'll have all my t-shirts, my dresses, the katsu curry hoodies, the party of your afterlife dresses, and everything else. You can have a look on cakeswithfaces.co.uk. Number four, special guests. Meeting special guests isn't included in your ticket. If you want to meet them, you can get autographs and photo sessions. Photos are booked online. They're taken by a photographer and you get a print to take home. Autographs you book on the day at the guest table in the autograph area. It's first come first served and you can only book for the same day. So what guests are there? This time there's Sebastian Stan, the Winter Soldier. There's actors from Stranger Things, Supernatural, The Walking Dead and the Kevin Smith films. That's Clerks and More Rats and all of them. There's also anime voice actors and comic book artists. There's usually more announced in the run up to the show. They can't always confirm till quite late on because of filming schedules and things. So keep an eye on the MCM website. Number five, food. The food is expensive. It's London and you're in an exhibition centre, so that's just how it is. There's a few Japanese food stalls in the Pop Asia section and you can bring your own food with you. Definitely bring a drink with you. And if you need it, there's a Tesco Express just outside XL, but it does get pretty busy. Number six, cosplay. There's gonna be the MCM Championship of Cosplay. The winner from this one and the winners from the other MCM shows around the UK go through to the final. And then the winner from that gets to go to Chicago to compete against the winners from 10 countries to become cosplay champion of the world. But you don't have to go to that or even the cosplay masquerade to see loads of cosplays. If you're cosplaying, there's a desk with supplies for emergency repairs, very helpful. And if you're thinking of cosplaying, you should definitely do it. You won't look out of place at all. Number seven, if you like comics and artwork, you're gonna wanna go to the Comic Village. There's so many artists self-publishing their own work. And it's not just comics. You can get commissions and portraits and things like badges and prints. There's so many different styles and you get to talk to the artists. Number eight, games. There's game demos to play. There's not as many as if you went to a whole video game show, but you can see what's new and what's coming up in the next couple of months. And sometimes they have big displays or statues for you to pose with. Number nine, it gets a lot quieter towards the end of the day when other people start to go home. The middle of the day, especially on Saturday, is the most crowded time. So if it all gets a bit too much, just sit down or go outside and relax. And then from about four o'clock onwards, it gets a lot quieter and you can have a good look around everything. 
First thing on Sunday is always really quiet as well. Not many people get up early on Sundays to get to London for 9 a.m. And if it looks really dead in my videos from Comic Con, that's because that's when I do most of my filming at the start or the end of the day when there aren't so many people there. And number 10, stalls. There's loads of things to buy. Some things you'll see repeated on different stalls so you can shop around and some things are only sold in one place. So you need to judge if it's something you need to grab straight away because you might not be able to find it again or if you want to compare prices. But I can guarantee there will be lots of things that you'll want to buy. So if you have a budget, you do need to be tough with yourself. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, usually I make videos about Japan. My new series of travel vlogs is starting next week on Thursday. So I'll see you then. And maybe I'll see you at Comic Con. Bye bye.